Hey folks, Quick Tank Gamer here. Every few years or so, there comes a game that redefines or establishes a genre. There are few and far between, and just a bit too few for my taste. The next gen is here, and both Microsoft and Sony are launching exclusives that are more hype driven than quality. I'd say that games should evolve and push the limits of imagination instead of being copy paste bland shooters, be they third or first person. The last few years have been limiting for games. Everyone is trying to find a trend and stick to it. I feel that innovation took a step back. And everyone is focused on sequelizing any above average game just for the sake of income. I've been playing a lot on my Xbox 360 this generation, and I really liked it. But once I finished the game, I never felt like going back to it. Most games do not have an environment that allows you to create within that game world something that's yours and share it. Like, say, wouldn't it be awesome if Batman Arkham games had a level designer and you could make your own adventures with the Caped Crusader? I know I would love to do that and check out others. Skyrim encourages modding and experimentation and was extremely successful because of that. Every game should be open towards its players and let everyone play at their own pace and, if they don't like the content provided, be able to, on the go, check out other people's content or make some of their own. How awesome would it be to build your own boss fight in God of War games? Or to create a whole new multiplayer game type for Call of Duty or Battlefield for you and your friends to play? Few games got internet integration right in this current generation. Checking your scores alongside others in Arkham game isn't as impactful as playing together with the, someone in a specially designed mission like say in Splinter Cell. With the rise of social sites as Facebook, Twitter, games should be as open or as closed as everyone likes them to be. I find it hard to get my friends to play a specific game because I can't share with them what I like best in that game. Game streaming services have had a great idea. You could see what anyone was playing on their servers at any time. You could say check up on your best friend Rick who was playing Fear and see how he'd get his ass handed and offer some tips or try to help him out by joining a multiplayer session. League of Legends, Dota, Smite, pretty much all multiplayer games live because of the community and this little sharing of great moments. You're part of a team and that's really great and you should have this choice in pretty much any game. On the other side, there are games that focus on single player and then throw a multiplayer aspect in it just for the cash grab. Personally, I like a game that focuses on both. Every game should offer the, ch the chance to play the campaign in two players or more. Gaming is an experience you can share. And it's something really nice that you can find other people that enjoy it and just see where that takes you. Another thing that needs to change is day one DLC. Get rid of it. Clearly, the game is planned with that DLC inside it. And the devs just remove it so they can get an extra 5, 10 or more dollars. Add to that uh, more story DLC that is planned along the line and you end up spending far more than you'd bargain for on one game. You either get the whole game with a $60 purchase or make the game microtransaction and sell each level or chapter individually. Any DLC should be free for those that own the game. Players should be able to make their own quests, maps, costumes and more. As I've mentioned in the modding part of this video, I find it absurd to pay money for an alternate color of my protagonist's costume or a slightly different look for him in addition to the game's full price. Another DLC related issue is re-releasing a game with all developer com developer made content. Game of the year editions come out with say usually a year or so later with almost full price while the original game is usually at half that cost or even less. Minecraft is an example of a game within a game. Everyone knows Minecraft. It's pretty much a huge Lego sandbox where you can build whatever you want. It's fun both to build and to play. 
Every game should be more like this. Every game should grow and embrace the player community. One more thing I'd wish for, well, because it's pretty hard to see, would be demos for, for exclusives on all platforms. That way you can see and experience say, The Last of Us on PC or play the newest Mario on Xbox and decide for yourself if it's worth buying a console just for those specific first party games. Wii U has great first party games, but few people actually get to play them because they're not convinced by the hardware. Make demos for every game and allow people to decide for themselves which console to get based on the software available for them. Give them a real choice. Trailers are just not enough these days. So, if the next generation of gaming is here hardware-wise, then let's bring the software to really push it. Developers, please stop with the DLC. We can wait one more month until you put all that digital information on disk. Please, don't rush games. All the best. Quick time gamer.